in the last video, we built ourselves the ultimate oil refinery in all of islands. This puppy right here is going to take care of every single bit of naturally, infinitely generating oil on my island, guys. I even got the next one set up. I just currently don't yet have enough red bronze to actually craft all of these fillers. But yeah, guys, all of these fillers are going to go here, and this is going to produce all of my actual oil. Petroleum, actually. And look at this, boys. It's making petroleum. I've actually taken out a lot of it. I have so much petroleum now. It is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but yeah, guys, I ended up running into a little bit of a problem, and that is the fact that sometimes if I actually uh, leave the game and then rejoin, this thing actually won't be running. Right now it is, uh, and there's it right, right here. It's still burning, but sometimes it actually won't be, which is really frustrating. And I actually don't really have a good idea of how to fix this. Like, I could put a coal totem into there with maybe like a couple randomizers, but that kind of seems like a bad solution. Um, Yeah, guys, let me know what you think, Um, how I could actually fix that. Um, Right now, if I see it as a problem, all I have to do is just drop a little bit of coal into the actual uh, pump and everything will be fixed and it will be running again. But yeah, it's a little bit of an annoying problem. But yeah, guys, in the last video, we set up our red bronze refinery setup, which is very simple and very crude, but uh, it will do the trick for now. It's making me red bronze about as fast as it can. Um, But yeah, guys, I've made a bit of a realization. It was really, really fun to build this insane, absolutely insane Saint Steel Farm over there, but it's causing quite a lot of lag, guys. Keep in mind, there is not a single piece of this farm that is despawning, okay? I made very sure that all of the ratios are correct, okay? There is not too many totems in there, but still, I can't be placing too many other totems either, which is a little bit frustrating. So I was thinking to myself, what is something that, that I can do about this? As you can see, there's so much steel now. Dude, I have so much steel in general. Dude, look at this. I have 11,000 steel. This thing is pumping out steel like crazy. So I was thinking to myself, okay, I'm pretty confident that if I place this and upgrade it, I actually can't like replace it. So I need to place it somewhere permanent where I will leave it forever. So what I'm actually going to do right now, guys, is I'm going to hide this thing in a place where I, I know I won't have to break it because that would suck. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I'm going to place it right here. And uh, by placing it right here, I'm pretty sure I'll never have to replace it. So I won't ever lose any like stuff. <laughs> How genius. Yes, place it down there. So yeah, guys, this is the uh, the electronic workbench. And uh, I have it not upgraded right now, but I have all the materials to upgrade it. So I'm going to do that. And I'm actually going to do it again, I think. Oh my God, that is so expensive, guys. Electrite is absolutely like stupidly expensive. But yeah, I need to have it this far upgraded. Okay, and it's currently max level. But yeah, guys, the reason I needed it to be that upgraded is because I need myself a bunch of these boys over here. I need myself a bunch of totem disablers. So that way I can absolutely optimize my steel farm. I can disable all the totems if I have to. Uh, and these will actually disable everything in a 10 block radius, which is really cool. But yeah, guys, I'm going to have to use a bunch of these. And I also actually need myself a steam generator because guys, this is actually something that they added since I last played uh, that I haven't actually ever seen before. And it's really, really useful and really freaking cool. So yeah, I need myself a gearbox, which I should be able to craft, I think. Gearbox, there you go. So yeah, with a gearbox, I can craft myself one of these steam generators. And it should be this one right here. Craft. And yeah, guys, this should allow me to create a constant infinite source of steam just by pumping coal in there. Wait, wait, what? It just piles. It allows you to 10 coal at a time. What? Uh, okay. Now, one of the things that I'm actually gonna need to actually be able to do anything here is a pair of these wire snippers or whatever the crap they're called. But yeah, this is outputting a constant 60 power. Very cool. Now, I need myself a bunch of these totem disablers. So let's see. Let me grab myself. How many can I grab still? I can only grab another three. Oh, that's not gonna be enough, is it? Ooh. All right, guys. So this right here is where, where I'm, I wanna put my interface uh, for all of this stuff. So let's see. Um, Here, I wanna grab myself a quick little light. And I also need a switch, but I might have one of those. Okay, I don't have a switch, and I also don't have a light, so I need both of these. <laughs> All right, there you go. So yeah, with this, I should be able to see whenever the uh, entire farm is either enabled or disabled, which is going to be really cool. So I'm just going to place this right there, and let's see. I think I want to just put the switch on top, so I can just easily switch it on and off. Wait, mm, I might want to put it over here, actually. Something like that. Yeah. All right. So yeah, let's see right now. All I need to do right now is I need to grab myself a steam generator and power everything here. So I'm actually going to build that underneath of here, I think. Thing. Just because I will never really ever have to look at it this way. Okay, so right here, I'll place my steam generator. Actually, I need more room right there. Okay, and then we just need a conveyor and some coal. Actually, this, wait, this doesn't have to be a speedy conveyor. What am I doing? All right, so let's pump a little bit of coal in there just so we can get a thing started. So yeah, let's grab this power and we're gonna have to put it. Oh my God, wait, how am I gonna do this? <laughs> 
Okay, but I need a quick little staircase to get up there. Okay, there you go. I, uh, I need to grab the power from there. Then I need to take this and run it into the switch. Just like that. Perfect. And then all I need to do is I need to run the switch into the light. That might look kind of weird there. But yeah, that's kind of like the idea. So if I enable this, the light will turn on. If I disable it, the light will turn off. Okay, cool. That works just right. Okay, I'm actually going to move this a little bit. I don't like that placement much. There you go. Place it right there. And into there. Oh, I still feel that looks weird. Oh, okay. One block lower. And boom. There you go. Okay, now you can't actually see the wire anymore. That is a lot better. Okay, so let's enable all of this stuff. So let's see. The way that I think we should run these... Um, uh, I think the way that we should run this is by using them just in like a daisy chain. And I think that's possible here. Let me just do a quick little test. All right, let's see. So what I would do is I would just grab this just like that and throw it in there. And then that uses two power. Okay, so that's there, there should be more than plenty to actually power the entire farm. Perfect. And then we can just switch it on and off. All right, so let's get rid of all this stuff. And let's see. I currently have four totem disablers. Let's see. The range of these are 10 blocks. So I should be very easily able to actually figure out the exact number of these totem disablers that I actually need. So let's see. The first one is right here. So then we're going to go over one, two, three, four, nine. So it pretty much covers about exactly two of these, which is very perfect because we have a total of 16, which means that we need about exactly eight of these totem disablers. Super easy math. It just means that we need a lot more electrite. Oh no, not electrite. It's the worst thing in the game to collect. So guys, I'm going to say something really crazy, but I truly mean this. I think electrite and specifically totem disablers are literally one of the most crucial items in the entire game when it comes to anyone that wants to build, build big farms. Because look at what I just did. I just started an entire new save game state, like a new, new slot, just to be able to make like a crazy steel farm, crazy red bronze farm, and all that other kind of stuff. When in reality, I could have just used my old base and just used a bunch of totem disablers. And that would have actually allowed me to do pretty much the exact same thing. So yeah, I think they're pretty crazy. Um, Now, I don't even remember how to get electrite. Is it even possible to still get it? Wait, hold up a second. Wait, is it possible? Please tell me I don't have to trade for it. Oh, I see nothing here. Oh no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it now only spawns on the Bufflicator Island. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, bro, I had a little heart attack there. Wait, no, this is awful. Dude, I have zero PvP XP. I can't go there. Dude, you gotta be kidding me. Well, you know what that means, baby? We're going back to our original island just so that I can go to the Bufflicator Island to get myself some more electrite because I'm really out pretty much. Oh, and I have a bunch of other stuff here as well. Oh, that is amazing. Okay, so I don't actually have any like physical electrite, but that's all right. All right, guys. So here we are. Let's head straight to the Bufflicator Island. Oh, there it is. This is the stuff we're looking for. Yes. Oh, it gives us a lot and there are so many nodes here. This is perfect. Oh, this should be super quick. So yeah, guys, I'm pretty sure that all of these nodes are actually spawning in the same exact location every time, which would mean that we could actually AFK farm this. Um, That's kind of unexpected. I'm pretty sure we can just mine one, mine the other one. And then by the time, oh, will it respawn? Was I right? Oh yeah, it just, oh my God, it might be really easy to AFK farm this stuff. And with that, we have a hundred. Now I only need 500, so this should be pretty quick. 200, baby. 400, baby. And with that, we have 600. Finally, that took long enough. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, time to do a little trading. By the way, guys, fun fact, if you click, click this button and don't enter an amount, it will just put in all of it, which is actually really useful. Now accept the trades, and there you go. Perfect. Now just give it back. And there it is, boys. We have all the electrite we need now to craft all the totem disablers that we still need. Uh, we only need another four of them, so I actually got a little bit extra, which is actually a good thing. So yeah, let's craft four of these. Bang, just like that. And I think it's about time that we build ourselves the entire disabling station. So yeah, their range is 10 blocks. And I'm pretty sure I did it, like I did some testing a very long time ago. And from my testing, from what I can remember, it's actually kind of like a circle, the way that it uh, disables things. So let me see. If the range is 10 blocks, wait, is that 10 blocks in every direction? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, I need to do some testing here, actually, before I do anything, because I might just mess up. All right, so I'm going to place a totem right here. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 blocks away. Place myself a totem disabler right there. But actually, wait, uh, it's one over. All right, let's see. So let's grab ourselves some power right here and throw it into the disabler right there and boom. So yeah, now that that's on, that should be disabling this totem right here, unless the range is really five blocks in every direction. Because if I actually, it, if it's 10 blocks in every direction, I actually went overkill, which is a good thing. Oh, it's still spawning. But yeah, this is definitely activated right here. Okay, it spawned more coal. Okay, one closer. 10. Okay, this should definitely uh, disable it if it is 10 uh, in every direction at least. Okay, so it seems like this totem right now is actually disabled. 
disabled. I wish there was a way to check. Oh, wait, no. Wait, it just spawned. Wait, what? Oh, wait, it's not activated? Wait, what? Oh my god. It's because it active it disabled the totem underneath of there. Didn't it? Yeah, there was no more. Are you kidding me, bro? Okay, so this should now actually be disabled. Okay, now it's definitely disabled. Okay, good to know. So now that I know the actual range of everything, that is that is exactly what I needed to know. Um, so it's 10 blocks, including the block that the totem disabler is standing on. So that would mean that I can disable from all the way over. Okay, so that is one, two, three. Okay, so this right here is the middle of where all the totems are. Okay. So yeah, guys, just because I want everything to actually look really good, uh, I think what I'm actually going to do is not go with like the optimal distances of everything and just kind of freestyle it and place it right here. So this goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blocks instead of the full 10. So yeah, guys, what I'm going to do right now is I'm actually going to get this all activated because I want to make sure that it actually is disabling all of the totems, you know? But yeah, I, one thing I'm definitely going to have to do is do something about these wires because dang, they're ugly. <laughs> so what I'm hoping to see right now is that these three right here are disabled. Like everything about them. Okay, so this one's still spawning. Is that the only one? Okay, so this one, this is the only one that is still activated right now. Okay, so it seems like placing this one block over actually fixed my problem. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna break that one and move it one over, even though it isn't centered. All right, perfect. That seems I actually have the exact right number of totem disablers. Dude, this is perfect. All right, so the power just goes into there. And then from here, everything gets super simple because we just daisy easy chain it together. So this one goes into there and et cetera, et cetera. I'm gonna keep doing this. And I'm pretty sure we'll actually have just exactly enough power. Actually, we'll probably have more than plenty. Okay, now guys, the real question is, it will it disable everything, including specifically this one all the way over here? I think this one might actually be out of range. Just this one though. Okay, so this one just spawned. Yeah, it appears that it's out of range. Dude, I would be so OCD if there was one of them that was not disabled, but it's such a waste to use one entire totem disabler just for that one totem. Him. I have to do it, man. Bro, I dude, I literally wouldn't be able to live with myself. <laughs> All right, there you go. Now everything is disabled. The entire farm should now be shut down, right? Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything is actually disabled now. Perfect, dude. So yeah, guys, we can now pretty much kill all lag instantly if we want to. Just by flicking this lever right here. So now it's on and now it's off. I wish I could actually invert that lamp. There is actually a way of making the lamp burn off when I wanted to, but I'm not gonna do that because it would take literally forever to do and it would actually cost me another steam generator and I don't wanna, I just don't really wanna waste that right now. It's not really worth it. So yeah, guys, there's only one thing left to do real quick, and that is to craft a single... Uh, I think I'm going to craft a combiner. Here, if I have a combiner right here, I can actually make this whole thing just that much nicer looking, okay? Here, guys, look at this. This is going to be super simple. All I need to do is quickly go down here, and I'm going to just place this single uh, splitter, or what is it called? Combiner right there. Can I click that from right here? Oh my god, you can. Wait, that is amazing. Okay, so I'm going to connect that into one of these, and then I'm just going to connect the pass-through. Oh, I'm stuck here, ain't I? But this isn't good. Here, okay, let me just jump up. So yeah, guys, that actually looks a lot better, so that you can't really see too well because of it's it's nighttime right now but that's going over into there into that thing so what i'm gonna do right now is i'm quickly gonna grab the power from there and i'm gonna actually throw it all the way over into here so that way it's gonna just look a lot better but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today's video guys if you haven't already like the video and subscribe to, skip, subscribe to the channel we're so close to 300k i would super ultra appreciate it but yeah guys that's gonna be it for today i'll see you later boys Bye. Do you guys see how it got lighter just now than it was earlier that's because i recorded this at 8 a.m in the morning <laughs>